Yes, I didn't see you there. I'm JP. Student Council is hosting Lebanon High's canned food drive. Our drive is going to run from December 2nd to the 6th, and our goal is 30,000 cans. Yeah, 30,000. These cans are going to go to the Community Help Center and feed families in Wilson County. Each second block class is going to bring items to compete with other classes for prizes. This year, for middle school goal, participating second block classes are going to receive a pass to either leave three or five minutes early from the last day of school before Christmas break. Please note that glass containers, bottles, and ramen noodles are not accepted. Also, please check the expiration dates. We don't want to give old food to anybody. Yearbooks are on sale for $75. Remember, the price increases as the year progresses, so don't delay. It's just going to keep going up. Japanese Club is going to meet tomorrow at 3 p.m. in the cafeteria. Seniors, remember that you need to submit your name for the yearbook by Friday, December 6th. That's this Friday. For the past few years, cadets in our JROTC program have sent Christmas cards to military personnel stationed overseas and stateside, as well as to patients at our local veteran hospitals. Our seniors actually hand carry the cards to the VA hospital in Murfreesboro and hand them out to the patients there. Last year, we produced over 2,500 cards, and we intend to increase our level of outreach for this season. So if you know of someone who would like to receive Christmas mail, please send Sergeant Lindsay the names, ranks, duty stations, and mailing addresses by Friday, December 20th. They'd be honored to send cards to all of them. So yesterday we had some exciting moments happen for LHS Sports. Let's throw it to Ray and find out what happened. Hey, it's Ray with your Lebanon Sports News. Congratulations to our bowling team for beating the Panthers Portland High School yesterday in the quarterfinal round match at Pro Bowl West. Blue Devils didn't waste any time proving why they are number one in the district, not allowing the Panthers to get one point during the first game. And they didn't let up during games two and three as they gave play time to all on the roster with a score of 22 to 40. Caleb Gregory, Gregory Oliver, Jackson McRae, and Harvick Wiley had the high scores. Come join us at Pro Bowl West on December 11th at 1 p.m. as we advance on to the semi-round facing the Hendersonville Commanders. Last night, the Lady Devilettes took on the Tullahoma Wildcats. It was a close game from the start, and every time one team seemed to start pulling away, the other game went momentum. The Devilettes played very good defense, and Coach Barrett had very good plays for the team's offense. Check it out. to Aaron Grace Lester, who drives in, shoots, and makes the shot. Here come the one. She, is, she sees someone down there, she sees the score. Four to three, and the Wildcats bringing it up. They sh she shoots, makes it. It will be eight to 12, Devilettes, as the Wildcats. Here's Porter bringing it back up for the Devilettes. Here's Harris to Brown, and the shot is good. A quick two there by Lebanon. That's Miss Anna Marie. Stolen by the Wildcats. Stolen back by, the, by Lebanon. Here's Porter, puts up the layup. It is good. Devilettes re- Lester to Brown. Brown to... Anna Marie, and she makes the three-pointer. It's good. The Wildcats working their way. To Mason. Looking for something, she gives it to Porter. Takes the pick from Mason. Calling a play, it seems like. Here's a three-pointer from Porter, it's no good. Tipped and rebounded by the Devil. It's another three, and it's good. Rebecca Brown gets Back out to Porter. Here's Porter out to Miloski. Miloski back out, almost stolen, but Lester gets it. I believe that is a foul called. Well, and as we get one checked in the game, 
gives it off to Avery. Excuse me, that is yes, that's Avery Harris. She makes the layup. Here's Porter bringing it up for the Devilettes. Miloski's covered up in Wildcat. Here's Porter, drives in, puts up a mid-range jumper. It's good. Very big there. Be sure to go follow our Facebook page at LHS Blue Devil News and our Instagram at LHS underscore Blue Devil News. Beyond the arc. Gives it back to Miloski. Brown down low. Puts up the lamp and it's good. That is very. Now, Macy Bowman passed the 20, who passed the 34. Farrell shoots, she misses. Lebanon recovers the rebound. Foul called on the Wildcats. Miloski with the rebound. That one shot off the rim right into her chest. Lebanon hoping to run the. Lester makes it. Gonna get another one here. She makes it, they'll go up by six, I believe. And she makes both that game. This makes this game a whole lot harder. They're gonna put the three, and, the, and Lebanon knows that. They're gonna play. No good. It is rebounded, but she puts up a two. I would say that's a pretty good save from the Wildcats. That might have ended it right there to pass it in for, for Lebanon. Never mind, it's gonna be Miloski. Gives it to Lesser. Is the layup. It is good. What a great play. I was not expecting that. The Wildcats bringing it up now. 21 with the ball. She's going to shoot the three. It's going to be airballed, and that will do it today. Wow. What a game. What a play from Miloski to Lester. Tricked the defense. Lester passed it off. Went deep down the court. Kind of like a pass if you would in football. Yeah. And I, got the bucket. That was a great I, play. I've never seen that. That was a very well drawn out play because. I have never seen that. I was not expecting that either. Props to Coach Barrett for that play. Good game from the Devilettes. They're going to go to four and two on the season. Final score here: fifty-five to forty-nine. Man, after having a greatly planned play to trick Tullahoma, where Alyssa Malowski found Aaron Grace Lester wide open down the court for a layup to, to secure the win for the Devilettes, fifty-five to forty-nine. Junior, junior Addie Porter had 12 points, 8 rebounds, and 6 assists. Senior Aaron Grace Lester had 12 points and 5 rebounds. Junior Avery Harris had 8 points and 6 rebounds. The Devilettes are now 4 and 10. The boys also took on the Tullahoma Wildcats. This one looked like the Blue Devils would take the win from the beginning. Blue Devils played lockdown defense, only allowing 9 points in the first quarter. Not only that, but it also seemed as if the Blue Devils were making shot after shot. It was such an easy win that we put our JV in, and they scored some points at the end of the game. The Devils improved to 6 0. Here are some highlights. Jumper, it's good. Jumps for number three, Gavin Reason over, gives it to Malcolm. Low. To Green, Green to Reason over, Reason over the three ball, no good. What a putback by Malcolm Lowe. Gives it off to Hastings. Hastings back to Lowe to Reason over. Passing it around. Here's Polo Phillips inside, inside, and he puts up the layup. It is good. Malcolm bringing it up. Gives it to. Reason over, reason over on the three ball. It's good. Green puts up the lamp. It's good. Malcolm Logue. Malcolm Logue is a senior. So this will be the last season here with the Blue Devils. Jared Hall is only a freshman, which is crazy to think. Here's reason over on the three pointer. It's good. Good pass from Jared Hall. Reason over. Logue. Hastings, three ball. 
good. G3 from Jeremiah Hastings. Wildcats now. Pass. Layup is good. Back to David. Back to Kobe. Kobe on the layup. It's good. And one. I believe that was an At the top of the key. Passes it off to Jared Hall. Jared to Jamar. Jamar inside. Layup is good. 53 to 34. Some of the JV guys, they're still solid players. They're the future of Lebanon. Here's the 21. Tony puts up the layup and it's good. 35 with the ball now. Just winding down the clock. And that will do it. Your final score is 67 to 46. And the Blue Devils win. The game was never close, and the Blue Devils took the win 67 to 46. We had four players with double digit points David Green with 12 points, Gavin Racingover with 11 points, Mal Malcolm Logue with 10 points, and Jamar Kennard with 10 points. Jeremiah Hastings also played a big part with six points and seven assists. And don't forget about this Friday as rivals Mount Julia come to our house to take on our boys and girls basketball teams. BDM will live broadcast both games from our Facebook page. Find us and like us on Facebook at LHS Blue Devil News and on Instagram at LHS underscore Blue Devil News. Student tickets will be on sale for this week's game at the bank for $3. Students may only purchase one ticket with school ID. The cost will be $6 at the gate. That's all for today with your Lebanon Sports News. Thanks, Ray. The Blue Devil News is having great success with our new broadcasting crew live streaming all the home basketball games. With Billy Joe Sebasti behind the scenes, Glenn Smith on Jumbotron and sound, and junior commentators Raymond Ennis and Ian Shruck, we can't go wrong. Last night's games reached over 2,300 people, and we had close to 1,000 views. Media and Live broadcast all the home basketball games from our Facebook page. So if you miss a live broadcast, no worries, because it's going to be there. Each game is also going to be re-aired on Wilson County's educational channel, which is WCTV, the following day. Tuesday games will air on Wednesday at 6 p.m., and Friday games will air on Saturday at 11 a.m. So there was a game yesterday, so it'll be on WCTV tonight. Find, like, and share BDN on Facebook at LHS Blue Devil News and on Instagram at LHS underscore Blue Devil News. So if you're interested in joining our sports broadcasting team, come see Miss Nick at B322. The book club publishes a literary magazine every year, once a year. This magazine is filled with artwork, poetry, short stories, and scripts, all written by students. They're now accepting submissions. Students can submit their work to Lebanon High Book Club at gmail.com. The LHS Band and Choir Concert is this weekend, December 7th at 7 p.m., and it's free. Also, make space on your calendar for our annual LHS Dance Showcase, A Night at the Movies. It's going to be December 10th from 6 to 8, featuring Dance 1, 2, and 3 classes. You can buy tickets online at the LHS website or at the door for $5. All events are going to take place in the theater. And that's all the news we have today, LHS. I'm JP. This is the news to you from the White and Blue. Y'all have a great day.